We are going to have so much fun today with poetry. Class Stan, let's do our poem, Thank You for the World So Sweet. Are you ready? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Great job, you may be seated. Oh, we've been talking a lot about being thankful, haven't we? We've been thanking God for our mommies and our daddies. The, this morning during Bible time, we thank God for you boys and girls that were watching. We thank God for Mrs. Stewart. Oh, go get tissue. We thank God for all kinds of wonderful things. And we can thank God for the world so sweet that he made us. Well, you know what? It's beginning to be that time of year. And we have something that is coming up pretty soon called Thanksgiving. And we have a new poem today about Thanksgiving. So I want you to hear this poem. I'm going to read it to you first. It's called God Help the Pilgrims. We're going to hear a story pretty soon about the pilgrims. The pilgrims, they came over from England because they wanted so badly to learn about God. Angelina, they wanted to learn so bad about God that they left where they lived. They lived where a king did not want them to worship God. They wanted the people to worship their own things and wanted them to do what they wanted them to do. But these people wanted to learn about God. So they left England and came to America. You might have heard about the pilgrims before. And when they came to America, they met some people, some early people that lived here in America called Indians. And I want you to listen to this poem. Listen to it. It's called God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. It's called God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin's. God helped the pilgrims ship to sail safely through the storm. God gave them Indian friends to help them hunt and plant some corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray, and Indian friends joined in the feast that first Thanksgiving day. They did. When the pilgrims came over, they didn't know what to do. They were used to being able to go to marketplaces and go stay in hotels and go live in houses. But when they came to America, there were no houses. There were no grocery stores. There were no restaurants. There was nothing here. All they had was what they brought with them. And so they needed to learn how to cut down trees and build homes. So they built a place called a common house where everybody could come. They used it for hospital. They used it for their place to go eat, their dining place to eat. They used it for where everybody lived for that first winter. And then they met those Indians and the Indians came and they showed them how to plant the corn and how to grow crops. They showed them how to hunt for turkeys, and that's why we eat turkey on Thanksgiving. It's so yummy. And we're gonna learn more about the pilgrims and about the Indians and how those Indians, they helped those pilgrims that first Thanksgiving. And then the pilgrims wanted to show the Indians how thankful they were for all their help. So they had a big feast. And that's why we have what we call every year Thanksgiving. And that's why we come together with our families and friends and we have that big Thanksgiving with turkey and pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes. Ooh, it's so yummy, isn't it? And so that's why we celebrate Thanksgiving every year. And so listen to this poem again and then we'll try to say it together. Ready? We're gonna learn it together. Listen to it. God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. God helped the pilgrims ship to sail safely through the storm. God gave, we're going to use feathers because Indians wore beautiful feathers. God gave the Indian friends to help them hunt and plant some corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray, and Indian friends joined them in the feast that first Thanksgiving day. Let's try it together, okay? It has lots of words, but I think we can do it. Class Stan, help me say, God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Let's do it today. God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Are you saying it with me, boys and girls? Let's try it again. God Help the Pilgrims by Janice Sherwin. Let's do it. God Help the Pilgrims ship to sail safely through the storm. God gave them Indian friends to help them hunt 
and plant the corn. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks, so they took time to pray. <clears throat> and Indian friends joined in the feast that first Thanksgiving day. Oh, isn't that a wonderful poem? That's a fun poem. You may be seated. We'll keep learning that poem together. Oh, think we could do this poem without getting silly? Class, stand. I think it's time to do our big clock. Here we go. Slowly ticks the big clock. Tick tock, tick tock. But cuckoo clock ticks double quick. Tick tock, tick tock, tick me tock. It's so fun. You may be seated. Now, we learned this other poem about these animals. Let me find it. About these one animals that, oh, they stomp around in a circus ring. What kind of animals is that? Elephants. Elephants. Do you think we could try this one? Class Dan, it's called Holding Hands by Lenora M. Link. Let's try it. Holding Hands by Lenora M. Link. Here we go. Elephants walk along the trails by holding hands. They're holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circles. Guess rings. Elephants work and elephants play and elephants bathe and swim each day. And when they walk, it never fails. They are holding hands by holding tails. Oh, that is so fun. You may be seated. That is a lot of fun. That is. Could you imagine if we were elephants and we had to hold the tail and our trunks as we walked around? Wouldn't that be funny if we walked down the hall like that? They would say, what is Mrs. Stewart's class doing? That would be silly. All right, well, I have another poem for you today. Hmm, it might sound like a song we know. It just might, you listen. I love Little Kitty. We know a song about that, don't we? Some of the same words are in here, so it's gonna be easy for us to remember this poem. I love Little Kitty, her coat is so warm. And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail or drive her away, but Kitty and I very gently will play. She will sit by my side and I'll give her some food and she'll like me because I am gentle and good. So it kind of has some of the same words in our song, doesn't it? Listen again. I love little kitty. I love little kitty. Her coat is so warm. And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail or drive her away. But Kitty and I very gently will play. She'll sit by my side and I'll give her some food. And she'll like me because I am gentle and good. Let's try it together. Stand up. Hold your little kitty. Look at, I have my little kitty today. Oh, he's, she's so soft and so cuddly. I like her. Johanna, will you hold her while we say our poem? You can stay right there by your chair. Good job. All right, let's try it together. I love little kitty. I love little kitty. Her coat is so warm. And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. Uh, so I'll not pull her tail or drive her away, but Kitty and I <laughs> very gently will play. She'll sit by my side and I'll give her some food and she'll like me because I am gentle and good. Oh, let's try that again. That was fun. Let's try it again. Johanna, could you give it to a friend that's working hard? Find somebody that's been working hard. Who would you like to give that to? Oh, good. Lucia does work hard in our classroom. Good job. Here we go. I love Little Kitty. Are you ready? Here we go. I love Little Kitty. Her coat is so warm, and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail or drive her away, but Kitty and I very gently will play. She'll sit by my side, and I'll give her some food, and Kitty will like me because I am gentle and good. Nice job, you may be seated. Oh, I love saying these po oh, sorry, sweet girl. I love saying these poems together. Class Dan, mm, I need all of the girls. All the girls come. Do you think you could help me with our poem, Hands on Shoulders? 
Mrs. Stewart, this one's still tricky for Mrs. Stewart, but I think you can help me. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Boys, you help me, and girls watching, are you going to help these girls? Because we need help. Here we go. Hands on shoulders, hands on knees, hands behind you, if you please. Touch your shoulders, now your nose, now your hair, and now your toes. Hands up high in the air, now at your side, now touch your hair. Hands up high as before, now clap your hands. One, two, three, four. Nice job. Tiptoe back. Way to go. Very nice. Look at you. Way to go. Let's do our kitty poem one more time. Let's do that. Let me find it again. Class Dan, get out your kitty. I love little kitty. Her coat is so warm. And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail or drive her away. But kitty and I very gently will play. I'll, she'll sit by my side and I'll give her some food and Kitty will like me because I am gentle and good. Nice. Boys come to the front. And then, boys and girls watching, we, you're going to watch your friends do something really neat. Are you ready? First, we're going to do this poem. All right, boys, I need your help. I want you to help us with Frisky Whiskey. Boys, stand. Are you ready? Oh, girls stand, I mean. Girls stand. Let's do Frisky Whiskey. Boys and girls watching, you help us. Frisky Whiskey. Frisky Happy to the treetops. Whirly twirly, round and round. Danny, Sam, say it. To the ground. Oh, please. Furly curly, what a tail. Tall as a feather, broad as a tail. Where's his supper? In the shell, snap, Frisky Oh, pick it up. Give it a little nibble. And scamper back to your seat. Scamper. Oh, good. I like that. Boys and girls, watch. Are you scampering back to your seat? Good. Well, I need some helpers. Hmm. I wonder who could help me with this story today. Hmm. I want to act out the little red hen. Could you help me act out the little red hen? Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. We are going to act out the little red hen. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? So I need your help. You're going to act, help me act this out. So I need a little red hen. Let's see. You know what, Lucia, you come, you have some red on. Will you come be my little red hen? Can you talk real loud for Mrs. Dear? I'll help tell you what to say, okay? Oh, I think you've been already eating some of the little crumbs of our thing that we're going to make. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a cat. I need a cat. Let's see. Who can be my cat? Hmm. I think I will pick Kayla. Kayla, come be the cat. Oh, kitty cats are so fun. Can you be my kitty cat? cat? Kitty cats are fun, aren't you? Can you be my kitty cat? And a dog. I need a dog. Hmm. Who could be my dog? Such a hard choice. Cyrus, come be my dog. Are you going to do a good job? You're going to not act foolish? Okay. And a mouse. I need a mouse. Who can be a mouse? Catherine, come be the mouse. Okay. And they all live together, and the little red hen, and they all live together in a cozy little house. So here's, who is this? This is the little mouse. mouse. And who is this? The dog. The dog. And who is this? The cat. The cat. And who is this? The little red hen. The little red hen. Okay, here we go. The cat liked to sleep all day long. Give us a yawn like this. Oh, good job. And let me see. And the dog liked to nap all day long. Give us a yawn. Ooh. And the mouse liked to snooze all day long. Let's see your yawn. Ooh. Good job. Okay. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. So she cooked the meals. Cook the meal. Pretend you're cooking. Good job. Oh, no, not you. Just the hen. She's the one. You're sleeping. Cook the meals. And she made the beds. Make the bed. Oh, turn around. Face this way. And she swept the floors. And she washed the windows. And she mended. <clears throat> 
She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. And, the, and one day when she was hoeing the garden and she found some grain of wheat. And she said, who will help me plant the wheat? Say it. No. Say it real loud. Who will help me plant the wheat? Who will help me plant the wheat? And the cat said. Say it real loud. And the dog said. No. And the mouse said. Not me. And the little redhead said, I'll do it myself. Do you see that big smile on her face? She is doing it with a happy heart. I like that. Well, when the wheat is ripe, the little red hen asks, say, who will help me cut the wheat? Who will help me cut the wheat? And who's this? The cat says, say, the cat says. The cat says, no. Oh, no, let her say it. And the, say, the dog says. The dog says. Not I. And say, the mouse says. The mouse says. Not me, or not I, good job. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen house, now who will help me take it to the mill? Who will help me take it to the mill? So the cat said, uh, and the dog said, and, not all. and the mouse said, and I. so she said, I will do it myself. I will do it myself. Then the little red hen returned to the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. And she said, who will help me make the, the cake? And the cat said, uh -huh. and the dog said, no, no. and the mouse said, no, no. so she did it, say, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. So she mixed all the ingredients together and she poured it into the pan and she put it in the oven. And it smelled so good. And it smelled so good. Get your dress down. And it smelled so good. And the cat jumped off the couch. Jump off the couch. And the dog got off the porch. Jump off the porch. And the mouse ran into the kitchen. Pretend you ran into the kitchen. Okay, good job. And the hen said, who will eat the cake? Who will eat the cake? And the cat said, I will. I will. And the dog said, I will. And the mouse said, I will. But the little red hen said, I will eat it myself. I will eat it myself. She said, I planted the wheat, I tended the wheat, I cut the wheat, and I took the wheat to the mill, and I grounded the flour. I did it all by myself. So said, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. And she did. And the cat, and the dog, and the mouse all were eager to help from now on. Let's give them a round of applause. Way to go. Good job. Okay, if you're a girl, curtsy. And if you're a boy, bow. Good job. Thank you, helpers. That was fun. Boys and girls watching, did you like watching your friends act that out? That was a lot of fun. Learning our poems and acting out our fun stories, that's a lot of fun. I hope you had fun today for our poetry and drama time.